Suppose we have to prepare a pH 4.8 buffered system and we have the following choices. A 0.1 molar solution of the following. We have formic acid, which I see I forgot the D there, formic acid, and its conjugate sodium formate. So choice one. Choice two, I see we could use propionic acid and its conjugate coming from the salt of sodium propionate. Choice three is phosphoric acid and its conjugate coming from sodium dihydrogen phosphate. Which solution should we use and how many mils of each solution would you use to make approximately a liter of the buffered solution? Well, let's start. Remember that the ideal situation is when the pH is equal to the pKa. And what that means is that the concentration of the conjugate base over acid is indeed the same. So the volume here really is irrelevant. It just means that we want the same concentration of each solution. So we want those to cancel out, so pH gives us pKa. And our target pH is 4.80. So let's begin by looking up some Ka values of each of these acids. In Appendix D, formic acid, here it is, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. So let's take the negative log of that and see what we find for pKa. One, oops, negative log, 1.8 E negative 4, and I get 3.74 pH units. I'll do the same for propionic acid. Propionic acid, 1.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Let's negative log for that and see what we get for pKa. Negative log of 1.3, E negative 5, 4.89. And one more to look up, phosphoric acid, and we'll use a Ka1 value since we have a conjugate there. 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3. So pKa is negative log of 7.5 E negative 3. And that gives us a value of 2.12. Knowing that the best match is when pH matches pKa within a plus or minus 1 pH unit, I can clearly see propionic acid being the best selection to make our buffered with a target pH of 4.80. How many milliliters of each solution would you use to make approximately a liter of the buffer? I think this is just asking us if we need a total of one liter and the most important thing is to have this ratio the same, we better use the same volume to deliver the same number of moles of the acid and its conjugate base. 500 mils of the acid plus 500 mils of the conjugate base will deliver the same number of moles per liter of acid and base. It's important to make sure that pH and pKa are indeed the same, and they're just asking us to make sure that happens when the concentrations of base over acid cancel, and that happens if I'm delivering the same number of mole units. And it's clearly telling us the concentration of the acid and its conjugate is the same, so there's no trick here. If they were different, we would have to think about the number of liters per mole, but right here they're the same. So 500 of each gives us 1,000 mils total, and we have indeed delivered the same number of moles of the acid and its conjugate base. We now have enough ammunition to tackle lesson number two from our Chapter 17 assignment sheet.